through really, really good parties. It's like a notorious thing. Like everybody knew a good party was coming up that I was gonna throw. Welcome to my channel. I am Sonnet. If you've never been here before, I adjust my pumpkin though. So I'm kind of just soaking in all of the spookiness while I can. Graveyard brownies I made inspired by going and telling stories in all of these beautiful graveyards. Beautiful view in front of me and it's so gorgeous outside and I figured I would take advantage of the green grass and background behind me. Also brought some gummies, so I'll be having a little bit of both of those. This is what my gummies look like this month. Mmm, those are really good. We usually wait until like October to go to the pumpkin farms, go apple picking, things like that. I don't like mine with icing, I don't know why. Silly past costumes. Really, really love dressing up for Halloween, but I've never been very adventurous. I'm always like some sort of animal, so... Cat, bunny, other bunny? <laughs> A drunken bunny. <laughs> The year before last, I kind of like sort of evil goat girl. Last year I was an alien from Toy Story. I've always loved being Disney princess. I'm gonna tell you guys a funny story. That's where we're gonna go with this spooky time. We're gonna be discussing one of my Halloween costumes in particular today, and it's gonna be the Katy Perry fiasco. I like went online, ordered a wig. I thought I was Katy Perry all of a sudden. California Girls came out. I was obsessed with Katy Perry along with the rest of the world. Best friend at the time. He went as Russell Brands through really, really good parties. It was like a notorious thing. Like everybody knew a good party was coming up that I was gonna throw. Specific year, don't know why I didn't throw a party on my own because one of my friends, friends, friends was throwing a party. Friends, 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 like, hey, I'll go to somebody else's party, not a big deal. Always the hostess of the party, I was never quite the guest. But I knew what it was like to have bad guests. So I never wanted to be that person, throwing up, getting loud, getting rowdy, starting trouble, starting fights. Go to this person's party. It's it's all right. They they have it decorated. Nothing like I would have had it decorated. There were some like snacks and a little bit of booze. A lot of our friends and family members at this party. I was dating this really skeezy guy at the time. He was just really gross. You know why I was dating him? Drinking more. As I started drinking more, I started to get really sick. Katy Perry thought that she could drink and drink and drink, and she couldn't. <laughs> I used to drink a lot of alcohol, so I was a pretty veteran and seasoned drinker at the time for my age. I'm sitting on the couch, that forever really, really bad, anxious feeling where you're gonna get sick and you start to spin out of control. I kind of had my eyes on the bathroom for a while. It's gonna happen. I knew where I was going and how to get there quick. Feeling the spins, I'm like, okay, I'm definitely gonna throw up. I go over towards the bathroom. The owner of the party watches me stand up and walk over to the bathroom to stand in line politely, right? Noticing him notice me because he's the host and I know I've been the host a hundred times and you're always kind of watching out for people that are gonna get sick because you want to help them to the bathroom or get them out of your house. Standing patiently in line, you know, 
went from three people down to two people. As I'm waiting patiently, the owner of the party comes over to me and he's like, You gotta get out. I'm gonna get sick all over my shit. You need to go. I'm not gonna go because I have to vomit and I'm waiting patiently in this line for these people to get out of my way so that I can go in there, vomit, and then go back to partying, having a fun time on Halloween. Spoil the party, right? Because I knew that it's important not to do that. This guy just keeps talking to me. Oh, I'm going to throw up in his house. And I friends Russell Brand at the time. He was standing with me in line. Me as that veteran seasoned drinker. He's looking at that guy and looking at me, looking at that guy, looking at me. God, she's going to kill him. And doesn't like attention and definitely didn't want people to know that I was about to get sick. You gotta go. You gotta go. Okay, okay. Get out. You gotta get out. You gotta go. You know what? Instead of waiting in this line to throw up, you know those bowls that are like pumpkin bowls and you can put food in them? He had like a bowl of cheesy puffs. You want some cheesy poofs too? Yeah, I want cheesy poofs. You gotta go. You gotta go. Took the pumpkin from him, threw up in the pumpkin bowl, <laughs> and handed it back to him. Said, okay, I'll go. I'll go home. In the comments, what's your crazy funny story? Halloween story. I know I tried to tell one about smashing pumpkins one day. A really funny story. Oh my gosh. Smashing everybody's pumpkins like a Saturday night and then like that Monday it had made newspapers that there were there was a like a pumpkin massacre up and down the road. Hilarious. That was community center and it had this big huge pumpkin display outside and it was like a macrame pumpkin man and my friend at the time he went full force like running towards the macrame pumpkin guy and just went oh <laughs> like hug it or something but then the whole thing oh. it's like Wag. I really regret that was sad because that was such a beautiful like display for Halloween crashed into a tackle I think this is gonna be my outro for the weekend you guys are liking my spooky chronicles I'm gonna keep posting them until Halloween Any good ideas for me to do I'm looking for any kind of video ideas, any video ideas, any at all. So drop them in the comments. My friend, my best friend, uh, actually suggested a pumpkin bong, which I do every year as a tradition. Have a great weekend, everybody. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. And I'm going to hang out here for a while. I'm going to have some water. I'm going to wait. PSA, don't smoke and drive. Ooh. Until next time. Stay smart. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe to my channel. And I just want to say thank you for stopping by.